Okay. We return uh, the thrilling conclusion of Metal Gear Solid 2 is tonight. Joey, we're home. What happened to everyone's hog? Black hole technology from the 80s, researched by Outer Heaven. Where did it? Where did they go? How did the black holes reel? I don't know. It's <laughs> cough. <coughs> Let's do this. We're right at the end of the game, and depending on if if I'm um, bad or good, we might finish this in, in an hour or two, perhaps. Mm. Right. Okay. So, uh, we're dr yep, dropping right in the action here. Okay, so Metal Gear Ray, there are many Metal Gear Rays. Notice, um, this is VR. Well, it's not really VR, it's just this is the, the VR, like, this is the platform where the goddamn VR missions took place. Oh my god. Not that there's anything sp well, there's- there's a couple theories about this. There's- there's a theory that I'm not gonna go into right now, but, um, there's a lot of potential lore that people have speculated about this game for a long time, and, and one of them is the nature of VR and the nature of how much of this game takes place in VR, if any. So there's that. Um, another big theme. This game is more about its themes than the reality of the situation, as we'll, you know, talk, talk about as it goes on. But, lies. The nature of, of lies and what they mean for the characters in the, in the game. How many characters actually end up lying to Raiden throughout, like, the entirety of this playthrough, for example. Uh, it's a lot. Oh, okay, that opens the mouth. So, Legu, and then Malfu. Oh shit, Ray! It's Ray from Ghostbuster. Oh, fuck that. Really like missiles? Well, at least rations are appearing. That's very rational. That's terrible. Oh man. I'm gonna run out of explode. Very rational. Ah! Oh. What the fuck? Alright, I'm gonna have to do this again. This was shit. Go ahead. End Bryden's life. My entire life was a lie. It's like a nightmare Ryden, I can't wake up from. Bryden? Bryden? Tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. Oh yeah, that does a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Let's 
That's a way better method of doing this. So how did Raiden get up onto this platform? That's another source of, of theory for a lot of people. Like, there's no indication of how Raiden actually got up here. He just appeared. Like, if you watch the cutscene... I'm not saying I have any particular feelings about this one way or another, but he just fucking appears. It is really... interesting. There's a, In fact, there's after the torture sequence, there's a lot of interesting things that, that occur. A lot of interesting things. Oh man, I forgot more rays join in. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Don't worry about the YouTube thing so much, guys. I appreciate you telling me when it's still live. I do forget. But I also, um... I know that my handlers over at Twitch would, would have mercy on my soul. They would take mercy on me. So you don't have to freak out about it too much. I mean, if, especially if it's just an accident. Think about it, this is a weapon that can surpa surpass Metal Gear. It is just a better Metal Gear. It's a cycle. I mean, you have to just keep making better Metal Gears. I don't know how I survived that. And yet a single person can beat them with RPGs. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this isn't just any person. This is... This is Raiden, who did over 300 VR missions. I don't mean to mock Quentin Flynn's voice acting, by the way. He does... I think he does a spectacular job. Just like Spider-Man. And I bet you're wondering what the fuck that title is for what's next. Just... Don't worry about it. Let the ray bite you. That's three. This really is like a war of attrition. And I remember this being pretty fucking white knuckle. Moose knuckle? No, I no right. We didn't say moose knuckle. We said white knuckle. Codenamed moose knuckle. Who? Who is that, Colonel? No one. Oh, this isn't good. I'm about to die. How many, how many of these fucking things do I have to take down?
Depends on the difficulty. Nine on normal. This game is, is a nightmare. <laughs> this is a fucking nightmare. Uh, I, I thought it was only going to be a couple before a cutscene, like, interrupted it. I, I forgot that you had to take out this many. Oh, come on, dude. I mean, I see how you can, like, cheese this a little bit, but it's- it's still- Oh, come, come on. It's- there's still so many of them. On- so on the harder difficulties, you actually have to take down 25. Unbelievable. Genius Kajumbo. In Euro Extreme, you have to fight all the rays in the background. Oh. Uh, well, I'm now understanding that you can do this very quickly. If you... Play your, your cards right. Like that, you know? Oh, wait, wait. Yep. Yep. That was my best uh, data impression from when he was possessed by ancient masks in, in the TNG episode, Masks. Oh! Captain Picard, it's me! Right, I am an ancient evil, Captain Picard, but don't you think you don't believe me? Is it my voice, maybe? You, you don't take me seriously? I love Brent Spiner, but he's got like two other voices that he does. And that's, that's one of them. Just like me doing Tinky Winky and Scoot. Do you know what day today is, Jack? President's Day? No. It's the day we found that hermit crab on the beach, Jack. Do you know what day today is, Jack? I don't know. It's National Goose Day, Jack. You know geese are my favorite animals. Rose, I feel like I never knew you. How could you like such a shitty animal? Also, Untitled Goose Game is going to be the best Switch game when that comes out. And I am so disappointed we didn't get more on that. Uh, the glorious presentation. I mean, I know it's an indie game, but it, it could it could graduate. Think about if they put even more budget into that game. How incredible it could be. Also, I had nothing to do with Animal Crossing. 
So for everyone who keeps thanking me, that's a nice sentiment, but I want you to know I had nothing to do with this. I know the town of a thousand scoots, you know, maybe seemed like I had some kind of magic, like some meme magic, but I, I really, really don't. God. Who is piloting these metal gears, by the way? Do we do we know? Is there a, like a Is there an answer? Oh, it's it's all GW. The AI. Majestic GW. Okay, good. Yes. Yes, I didn't have to take down all nine of them. No ray, Jose. I expected a little more fight I just took down like eight metal gears, seven metal gears alone. Hold them off. Give you time to get away. What about you? The ninja suit would have protected you, Olga. Huh. Would have this made you suicide. more powerful. Your nano machines. They're transmitting your vital signs to the Patriots. If you die, my child dies. You understand? The child. I see. So that's why you sold your troops out to me. So many dead, and they all died trusting you! <sighs> Weren't they your comrades? No, not just comrades. Family! <laughs> I know I'm going to help, but at least my child. I applaud your attitude. If you have a death wish, I'll be happy to accommodate you. Spider-Man comes early. This is why the ninja suit would have been such a great idea. Oh, nice P90, dude. Good choice. Show off. Oh. Perform CPR. She should Enjoy be okay. The show, Jack. Let's pick up where we left off. Hmm? What's going on? What's wrong with it? Mental Gear, gear Solid. GW, it's out of control. What?
system32.exe. Why do robots roar? Uh, the people that made the robots made them roar. What For happened? Intimidation. Maybe some kind of virus. The Patriots? I don't know. I guess. A lot. What have you been up to? It's too late. Arsenal system control is going haywire. It's on an emergency ascent course. At least they don't moo. Oh wait, they moo later on. Anyway, it looks like the virus Stupid worked, machines. huh? Oh shit, Swole Octopus time. Explosive bullets in a P90. My style is impregnable. Solidus is a fucking crazy bastard. Taking down Metal Gears with fucking P90s. Damn the Patriots. Come out. God damn it, Snake, I leave you alone for two minutes. Are you awake yet, Jack? Uh, GW. The Arsenal AI is corrupted beyond repair. I admit that I underestimated you. <clears throat> I'll squeeze the answers out of you instead, my son! Nano machines, my son. Oh god. Jesus fucking Christ! Oh my God! What do you hope to hear? You know he doesn't know anything. It's not him I want the answers from. I'm squeezing them them buttons so hard. What do you mean? That's not your business. Oh really? It so happens I have some business of my own to attend to. Planning to hijack Arsenal? Huh? You were going to screw me over, weren't you? Who talked? Ocelot? Not exactly. I was the one who used Ocelot to suggest the idea to you in the first place. <laughs> what? I was planning to give you Arsenal to begin with. Why the uncharacteristic generosity? <laughs> I'm no philanthropist. Arsenal is far from impregnable. It needs other Metal Gears as guards, a huge payload of warheads, and full air, sea, and land support to function efficiently. Against a large attack force without support, Arsenal is nothing more than a gigantic coffin. Seizing Arsenal gear was never the real objective. What was your objective then? A list of names of the Patriots! Oh. Oh, shit. They were planning to extend their control to digital information flow with GW and Arsenal. That means the information they want to filter out is contained in GW. Including that list of the highest 12 members of the Patriots Wiseman's Committee. 
And once you knew who they were, you would cross out their names one by one. While we, with our useless arsenal, drew their fire. Very good. You were using us all along. Were you any different? But your plans hit a snag with GW destroyed, hasn't it? I know who the no, Patriots are. There is another Tom way. Brady, Julian Edelman, really? Rob Gronkowski, Jeremy Hill, carry out. Chris Hogan. We'll take the arsenal since you don't care for it anyway. The purified hydrogen bomb is ready to go. A nuclear strike won't stop them. It's probably like Walt Disney. Their Seinfeld. Source. The mindless masses that they control. First things first. Of course. That was what you wanted. I won't stop you. Good luck. Thanks, but I have quite enough of that. <laughs> what exactly do you find so funny? Charades usually are humorous. I wouldn't have minded watching some more of it. But we're running a little short on time. What are you talking about? Everything you've done here has been scripted. A little exercise set up by us. Exercise? The S3 plan was conceived as a means to reduce soldiers on par with Solid Snake. <laughs> That's what I told you. Here we go. But the VR training the boy was put through is not the meat of the project. You think this little terrorist incident is your own doing, Solidus? This is the S3 training kernel. An orchestrated recreation of Shadow Moses. What? Ames and the President's deaths. The ninja. The computer virus that mimics Fox Die. Did you really think they were all a coincidence? Or lazy writing? Ames own nanomachines were used to shut down his pacemaker. I arranged for the appearance of the ninja as well. As for the president, although Johnson realized what was going on, he played out his allotted part. As for the computer virus, it's a digital counterpart of Fox Tie. It was also designed to eliminate every scrap of information regarding the Patriots from GW. Your plan was invalidated even before execution, Solidus. Fat Man was a different story. He's one of our own people. A sort of examiner we hired to test the boy's progress before letting him tackle the exercise proper. We had to arrange for Stillman's presence to coax the maniac into agreeing. If the boy had allowed the big shell to be destroyed, this exercise would have ended there. <laughs> the project has no room for failures. What do you mean? <laughs> Given the right situation, the right story, anyone can be shaped into snake. Uh, Even no. rookies can fight like men of experience. An instant creation of genius! And this training kernel will provide more than enough data to formulate such a program. You, dead cell, Olga, you're all nothing but pawns placed to create the perfect simulation. <laughs> Solidus, <laughs> you Jesus. and the boy were selected because your relationship resembles the one between Snake and Big Boss. Fortune, you and the rest of Dead Cell stand in for the Foxhound squad that Snake took on in Shadow Moses. You're it's the like most a damn impressive fiddle. collection of freaks outside of Foxhound. We've gone to a lot of trouble to set you up against the boy. That story about purified hydrogen bombs is just the tip of the iceberg. The project was already underway when I sunk that tanker, along with your old man two years ago. 
Throwing your husband in the brig was a part of it, too. You were told that the eradication of Dead Cell six months ago was an act of the Patriots. We provoked and encouraged your hatred. And you opted for vengeance, just as we planned. Ocelot likes to talk. Except for the appearance of the real Solid Snake. Exposition lot. I wonder now who sent for you. All our misfortune was just a part of your project? Nothing that we didn't give you. What? Titty. Ocelot, why'd you shoot her in the titty? Jesus. Do you know why no bullet could hit you? It wasn't magic or some new age mumbo jumbo. Certainly wasn't your psychic talents. It was all staged by the Patriots. Staged. A dead. You were being shielded by the electromagnetic weapons technology that the Patriots developed. Your dead cell comrades loved your father and husband. This is where things get a little we weird. <laughs> a pathetic wretch like you to keep them focused. You've been just now all along, just like Olga. No. You were hamming it up as the tragic heroine, thanks to the script that the Patriots wrote for you. Pure self-indulgence, absorbed in your own misfortune. You couldn't get enough of the drama. I could have died whenever I wanted to. Hmm, thought I got her in the heart. <laughs> It missed. Now I remember. Your heart's on the right. Waste of metal, my dear. But your luck's run out. Like, wait, why is her heart on this the right? This is the little gift. <laughs> There's no such thing as miracles or the supernatural. Only cutting edge technology. Okay, except that's clearly not true, Ocelot. <laughs> Series. Bastard. <laughs> it's a rare birth defect. What, the supernatural? No, I I, I get you. I mean, you know, Ocelot says that, but again, it's just, to me, that's misdirection. Especially when you get to Metal Gear Solid 3. Now that I have enough data, all I have to do is retrieve Arsenal and clean up the refuse from the exercise. Just try! Most Metal Gear Rising. And also, this is why Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes ended up being wacky. Okay, remember, she doesn't have any powers. There's no such thing as the supernatural. You idiot. And then two minutes later. I told you, your luck's run out. Take your reward. 
It's all the payload Ray has. Die! Some people think that this is an intentional um, paradox by Kojima, just to be a, like a dick. Everybody down! Powers were the friendships we made along the way. Truly. She is Lady Luck. <laughs> I'm sure someone has written a 30 page thesis about this moment. Jackson, the daughter of a proud and noble soldier. Yeah, he's got good music. And she ends up being more more of a character than you'd initially suspect from early on with all the Damn. luck and melodrama. I had a Try daughter. This instead. No. Oh shit. Oh shit, hand off. Hand off! Master hand. No. Crazy hand. So unnecessary. I've been waiting for this. It can't be. I've been inside this arm all along, waiting for the right time to awaken. You were inside Ocelot? Yes, a sleeper in the arm of a Patriot spy. It yep. was you two years ago? Exactly. I was controlling him. I changed his vocal cords. Snake, it was I that leaked information about Arsenal to your partner and Oof. got you out here. There it is. What? There's the unknown factor. You're the only one that can free me. After all... I'm off to bury the Patriots for good. You know where they are? How? Why do you think I chose Ocelot as my host? But before I go, I have a chose family him? matter to settle with both of you. There's room for only one snake and one big boss. What a nice family reunion. <laughs> Bruh. To say goodbye. Damn. Someone in chat just wrote, "This game is a fucking train wreck." It's kind of a beautiful train wreck, though, isn't it? Like it's it's glorious. Snake, you coming? Break these cups. Snake.
th there's a lot going on here with the story, though. That, and, and I did some research because I didn't remember it years ago. When I played through this game, I played through it one time, and I was just like, eh, that's enough. Which I regret. Oh, man. That Barrazano Bridge. That Arsenal gear. What a scene. Absolute unit of a bridge. I feel like... Uh, we missed... Like, a couple scenes. Tons of cut scenes because of 9-11. Really? This is where they cut the scenes? Here? Ah, oh, shit. <sighs> Federal Hall! <laughs> Did those scenes ever, like... See the light of day? What are you laughing at? Do you know what day it is today? No. April 30th? I mean, listen, if you weren't around That's for it... Right. Yeah, it was fucked up times. I understand why they George were worried Washington about it. took office as the first president of the United States of America 200 years ago today. And it happened right here. We were going to declare another independence. The dawn of a new nation here. The end of the Patriots' secret rule. Liberation of this country. This was where it was supposed to begin. This is where freedom could have been born. All you want is power at any cost. Jack, it's not power I want. What I wanted to take back from the Patriots are things like freedom, civil rights, opportunities. The founding principles of this country. Yeah, I feel like I can't believe you though, Solidus. Everything that's about to be wiped out by their digital censorship. Jesus. Jack. Here we go. Listen to me. We're all born with an expiration date. No one lasts forever. Life is nothing but a grace period for turning the best of our genetic material into the next generation. Meanwhile, memes were just destroyed the in The data of EU. life is transferred from parent to child. That's how it works. But we have no heirs, no legacy. We brothers are called Les Enfants Terribles. Clone from our father, with the ability to reproduce conveniently engineered out. What is our legacy if we cannot pass the torch? Proof of our existence, a mark of some sort. When the torch is passed on from parent to child, it extends beyond DNA. Information is imparted as well. All I want is to be remembered by other people, by history. The Patriots are trying to protect their power, their own interests, by controlling the digital flow of information. It's remarkable how well this I game aged. I want my memory, my existence to remain. Unlike an intron of history, I will be remembered as an exon. That will be my legacy, my mark in history. But the Patriots would deny us even that. I will triumph over the Patriots and liberate us all, and we will become the Sons of Liberty! And end of the game title drop. Raiden, are you receiving? We're still here. How's that possible? The AI was destroyed. Only GW. Who are you? To begin with, we're not what you'd call God. human. Here we go. Over the past 200 years, a kind of consciousness formed layer by layer in the crucible of the White House. It's not unlike the way life started in the oceans four billion years ago. The White House was our primordial soup, 
a base of evolution. We are formless. We are the very discipline and morality that Americans invoke so often. How can anyone hope to eliminate us? As long as this nation exists, so will we. Cut the crap! If you're immortal, why would you take away individual freedoms and censor the net? <laughs> Jack, don't be silly. Don't you know that our plans have your interests, not ours, in mind? What? Jack, listen carefully, like a good boy. The mapping of the human genome was completed early this century. As a result, the evolutionary log of the human race lay open to us. We started with genetic engineering, and in the end, we succeeded in digitizing life itself. But there are things not covered by genetic information. What do you mean? Human memories, ideas, culture, history. Genes don't contain any record of human history. Is it something that should not be passed on? Should that information be left at the mercy of nature? We've always kept records of our lives, through words, pictures, symbols, from tablets to books. To tablets not again. All the information was inherited by later generations. A small percentage of the whole was selected and processed, then passed on. Not unlike genes, really. That's what history is, Jack. But in the current digitized world, trivial information is accumulating every second, preserved in all its triteness, never fading, always accessible. Rumors about petty issues, misinterpretations, slander. All this junk data preserved in an unfiltered state, yep. growing at an alarming rate. Social limit. media. It will only slow down social progress, yep. reduce the rate of evolution. Right. You seem to think that our social media is censorship. Are you telling me it's not? <laughs> You're being silly. What we propose to do is not to control content, Jesus but to Christ. create context. Create context? The digital society furthers human flaws and selectively rewards development of convenient half-truths. Just look at the strange juxtapositions of morality around you. Billions spent God. on new weapons in order to humanely murder other humans. Rights God. of criminals are given more respect than the privacy of their victims. Although there are people suffering in poverty, huge donations are made to protect endangered species. Everyone grows up being told the same thing. Be nice to other people. But beat out the competition. You're special. Believe in yourself and you will succeed. Yeah. But it's obvious from the start that only a few can succeed. You exercise your right to freedom, and this is the result. All rhetoric to avoid conflict and protect each other from hurt. The untested truths spun by different interests continue to churn and accumulate in the sandbox of political correctness and value systems. Everyone withdraws into their own small gated community afraid of a larger forum. They stay inside their little ponds, leaking whatever truth suits them into the growing cesspool of society at large. Jesus Christ, the different Jesus. cardinal truths neither clash nor mesh. No one is invalidated, but nobody is right. Not even natural selection can take place here. The world is being engulfed in truth. And this is the way the world ends. Not with a bang, but a whimper. We're trying to stop that from happening. It's our responsibility as rulers. <laughs> Just as in genetics, unnecessary information and memory must be filtered out to stimulate the evolution of the species. And you think you're qualified to decide what's necessary and not? Absolutely. Who else could wade through the sea of garbage you people produce, retrieve valuable truths, and even interpret their meaning for later generations? That's what it means to create context. I'll decide for myself what to believe and what to pass on. But is that even your own idea? Or something Snake told you? <sighs> That's the proof of your incompetence right there. You lack the qualifications to exercise free will. That's not true. I have the right. Does something like a self exist inside of you? That which you call self serves as nothing more than a mask to cover your own being. In this era of ready-made truths, self is just something used to preserve those positive emotions that you occasionally feel. Another possibility is that self is a concept you conveniently borrowed under the logic that would endow you with some sense of strength. That's crap! 
Is uh, it? Would you prefer that someone else? Oh, my you? head. All right, then. Explain it to him. Jack, you're simply the best. And you got there all by yourself. Oh, what happened? Do you feel lost? Why not try a bit of soul searching? Don't think you'll find anything, though. Ironic that although self is something that you yourself fashion, every time something goes wrong, you turn around and place the blame on something else. It's not my fault. It's not your fault. In denial, you simply resort to looking for another, more convenient truth in order to make yourself feel better. Leaving behind in an instant the so-called truth you once embraced. Should someone like that be able to decide what is truth? Should someone like you even have the right to decide? You've done nothing but abuse your freedom. You don't deserve to be free. We're not the ones smothering the world. Escape. You Escape. are. The individual is supposed to be weak, but far from powerless. A single person has the potential to ruin the world. And the age of digitized communication has given even more power to the individual. Too much power for an immature species. Building a legacy involves figuring out what is wanted and what needs to be done for that goal. All this you used to struggle with. Now, we think for you. Oh, thanks. We are your guardians, after all. You are you streamers? You control human thought? Human behavior? Of course. Anything can be quantified nowadays. That's what this exercise was designed to prove. You fell in love with me just as you were meant to, after all. Isn't that right, Jack? Ocelot was not told the whole truth, to say the least. We rule an entire nation. Of what interest would a single soldier, no matter how able, be to us? The S3 plan does not stand for solid oh boy. simulation. Here we go. What it does stand for is selection for societal sanity. At first I was like, let's the join S3 the Patriots. Now I'm like, I want to die. Will and consciousness. S3 is not you, a soldier trained in the image of Solid Snake. It is a method, a protocol that created a circumstance that made you what you are. So you see, we're the S3, not you. Mission mailed, mission failed. What you experienced was the final test of its effectiveness. That's crazy. You heard what President Johnson said. The Arsenal's GW system is the key to their supremacy. The objective of this exercise was to establish such a method. We used Shadow Moses as a paradigm for the exercise. I wonder if you would have preferred a fantasy setting. <laughs> we chose that backdrop because of its extreme circumstances. It was an optimal test for S3's crisis management capacity. If the monk could trigger, control, and solve this, it would be ready for any contingency. And now, we have our proof. Frothing. Frothing at the brain. Right. There are also reasons behind your selection. Solidus raised plenty of other child soldiers. Do you know why we chose you over them? Hmm. It was because you were the only one who refused to acknowledge the past. All the others remember what they were and pay for it daily. But you turn your back on everything you don't like. You do whatever you like, see only the things you like, and for yourself alone. Yes, Rose can attest to that. You refused to see me for what I was. I lied to you, but I wanted to be caught. You pretended to be understanding, to be a gentleman. You never made a conscious attempt to reach out to me. The only time you did was when I gave you no choice but to do so. I was just trying not to. What? Trying not to hurt me? Dear, the one you were trying not to hurt was yourself. Avoiding the truth under the guise of kindness is all that you did. It occurred to you to do nothing but look out for yourself. Even if you claim that it was for my sake, that feeling was nowhere to be seen. In the end, everything was for your sake. I was never part of the picture. 
<laughs> exactly right. So you see, you're a perfect representative of the masses we need to protect. This is why we chose you. You accepted the fiction we've provided, obeyed our orders, and did everything you were told to. The exercise is a resounding success. Didn't I tell you that GW was still incomplete? But not anymore, thanks to you. Your persona, experiences, is that Emma's voice? and defeats are nothing but e -E. byproducts. The real objective was ensuring that we could generate and manipulate them. It's taken a lot of time and money, but it was well worth it considering the results. I think that's enough talk. It's time for the final exercise. Raiden, take Solidus down. Think again. I'm through doing what I'm told. Oh, really? Aren't you forgetting something? If you die, my child dies. The termination of vital <laughs> signals from your nanomachines means the death of Olga's child. Not to mention the death of Rose. She's wired the same way. Rose, does she actually I don't exist? care about that. Of course I do, Jack. You have to believe me. Oh, Damn. good. Real subtle, it Kojima. fight to the death. Solidus at least wants you dead. We will collect the necessary <laughs> nice camera to fight. Then we'll consider the exercise oh, closed. So, Jack the Ripper, will it be Solidus, the Patriot's creation, or you, Solidus's creation? Our beloved monsters, enjoy yourselves. Yep. Jack, my son. My clone brothers and I are called monsters, replicates of evil genes. You are one of a kind, but still a monster, shaped by a dark and secret history. We need to decide which monstrosity will have the privilege of survival. By the way, Jack, I was the one who killed your parents. <laughs> I claimed you for my own and raised you as a soldier in the army of the devil. I am your foster father and your worst enemy. Why? Because I needed to know whether we were really someone else's creation. We're repeating history, Jack. Liquid and Solid hunted down Big Boss, trying to sever the tie that bound them to him. Unless you kill me and face your past, Jack, you will never escape. You'll stay in the endless loop. Your own double helix. I am so done it's with the shit. We were both free. <laughs> I, I mean, I like it more than, you know, my, like, eggshell brain from when I was 16. I, I definitely see what Kojima was going for in some aspects. I have other reasons for wanting but, you know. Dead. The clues to the Patriots inside GW have been erased, but there are other traces. Inside you. What? The information is being carried by the nanomachines in your cerebral cortex and throughout the neural network they formed. Man, Kojima. Is that the best you could do? God. Is that the best you could do? So here we go. This is going to be fun. So again, you have to use the stick to use the sword. Is that the 
the best you can do. Oh, we're gonna hear that a lot, aren't we? How about no? We gotta face. Is that the best? Face him. Kind of difficult to do combos and still face the dude at the same time. Take this. Oh, I'm on fire. anymore so I can't cool myself down. You got the big pin three to away. Solidus would have been more compelling if he was voiced by um, Sonic the Hedgehog. I was going to say so Sonic the Snake. Solid the Hedgehog. This music is for some reason reminding me of... Um, I'm afraid of Americans. I'm afraid of the world. Maybe maybe that could be this game's theme song. Is that the best you can do? Johnny wants to think of a joke. Johnny's an American. Johnny wants to suck on a Coke. Are you going to reveal where all the hogs of the world are? No? Alright. I think it got pretty fucking interesting the past 10 minutes, Solidus. Right. You have to beat Solidus. This is your last duty. Colonel, there's a lot You're of lag on this call. In some simulation game, you know? Yes, you are. You're nothing but mere weapons. No different from fighter jets or tanks. What the? The old model destroyed four years ago was Rex. The new amphibious model is Ray. Both of these are the same as the code names used by the U.S. Armed Forces to refer to Japanese warplanes during World War II. Your code name, Raiden 2, comes from the Japanese Navy's name for one of its interceptors. Stop it. I'm not a weapon. Oh, really? Do you know the code name the U.S. Armed Forces used for the Japanese fighter Raiden? It was Jack. Oh! Both you are just weapons to be used and thrown away. Just weapons to be used on the battlefield. Just pawns in a game. Exactly as you said. And a weapon has no right to think for itself. Now, it's time to fulfill your purpose. Defeat Solidus. Over here! Oh, fuck. Uh, Otacon, are you still around? I could use some positive support. Right. Oh, hey, buddy. You don't have a lot going for you with just your bare hands. You have your own blade. Use it. Oh, good advice, dude. Is 
so about that lock on button. Just checking around. Oh, I'm fucked. No rations anywhere. L1 locks on too. Well, like guards doesn't lock on. What's wrong with you? It doesn't face. It doesn't face Solidus. Shit, man. Come on, do the fucking move, Jack. Is that the best you can do, brother? <laughs> what did Liquid say at the end of Metal Gear Solid 1? That we had to hear over and over and over again. What are you doing? Nice shot! You're too slow! Oh wait, no, that's that's uh that's, that's Sonic the Hedgehog. It's going to blow! Let's go! Blocking. I wonder if rations will come back. Probably not, right? Would have seen it by now, you think? Vinny, it's not too late to level your grip. What's wrong with you? A psychopath with a sword? With with two swords? Is is probably what's wrong with me? Please, comrade. Please, comrade. Please. Ready to give up, Jack? Yeah, where, where, where am I facing? Colonel, I've managed to avoid facing my opponent. Thank God.
It was not as hard as the liquid fight, at least. Big boss. More like more like big farce. Hmm? Hmm? Hmm. Alright, now give me back my hog. I'm so sorry for bringing up hog as much as I do. I really want you to know that this is it's disrespectful to Kujumbo's vision. Forgotten theme. One of the best themes in Metal Gear history. Shot down by copyright. Da da da. Da da da. So there's some, you know, speculation about the ending. You know, there's there's a lot of speculation about the ending. Um Yeah. What can I say? Well, you'll see. You'll see in a minute. Just just enjoy it for now. No such thing in the world as absolute reality. Considering Most how many of what lies are in this game, is actually fiction. What you think you see is only as real as your brain tells you it is. Then, what am I supposed to believe in? What am I going to leave behind when I'm through? We can tell other people about having faith. What we had faith in. What we found important enough to fight for. Subway it's stations not that you smell were like right pee. Or wrong, but how much faith you were willing to have, that decides the future. The Patriots are a kind of ongoing fiction, too, come to think of it. Mm -hmm. Listen, don't obsess over words so much. Find the meaning behind the words, then decide. You can find your own name and your own future. We decide couldn't be heroes. Yourself, and whatever you choose will be you. I don't know if I can. I know you didn't have much in terms of choices this time. But everything you felt, thought about during this mission is yours. And what you decide to do with them is your choice. You mean start over? Yeah, a clean slate, a new name, new memories. Hmm. Choose your own legacy. It's for you to decide. It's up to you. Is this where Shala's baby daughter clone shows up in the real world? Oh, wrong game. By the way, what is that? Dog tags. Why? Anyone you know? No. 
never heard the name before. It's actually pronounced Vinay. I'll pick my own name and my own life. I'll find something worth passing on. They taught me some good things, too. I know. We've inherited freedom from all those who fought for it. We all have the freedom to spread the word. Even me. Snake, what about Olga's child? Don't worry. I'll find him. Count on it. As Sunny. long as you keep yourself alive, he's safe. She, actually. Do you know where Liquid went? I put a transmitter on his ray. Did he head for the Patriots? Yeah, but I have a feeling they gave Ocelot a bogus location to begin with. Hmm. Cheer up, we have a better lead. This contains the list of all the Patriots. But Ocelot took it. The one we gave you wasn't the real thing. What? This virus is coded to destroy only a specific part of GW, namely the information about the Patriots' identity. Which means that there's a parameter coded in here that defines what that information is. I get it. Analyze the code and you can probably find out where they operate. Count me in. No, you have things to do first. And people you need to talk to. Notice they're moving in slow motion. It's just a thing that people noticed. One, two dudes with weapons in the middle of the street. No one notices. And everyone appears to be moving in slow motion. They're not even concerned about the crazy thing that just crashed into the city. So there's no big, you know, reveal or anything. It's just a weird, either stylistic choice or some people are like, it's VR, man. Again, I'm sure there's 30 page, you know, research papers about this. Snake? Oh, bird. What's wrong? Nothing. Can I ask you something? Who am I, really? I wouldn't know. But we're going to find out together, aren't we? Oh. So there's, you know, there's theories that this is the real Rose and not an AI version, or I don't know. I don't know. See yeah. me for what I am, okay? I know. Mm, no, I'm good. Oh yeah, there's a vamp moment. Did I miss it? Did I miss it? Apparently vamp is in the background. Do you remember this place? Of course. Shit, I missed it. This is where we first met. I remember now. Hmm? Today is the day I met you. <laughs> That's it. You only had, like, two things to choose from. Birthday, or, like, anniversary. Dude. I think I found something to pass along to the future. What? He said all living things want their genes to live on. Are you talking about the baby? Yeah. The genes aren't the only thing you pass on. There are too many things that aren't written into our DNA. It's up to us to teach that to our children. What kind of things? About the environment, our ideas, our culture, poetry, compassion, sorrow, joy. We'll tell them everything together. Is that a proposal? This is for your ears. Let's see, that's where I live. 
when I tell people I live in New York City, people think I live, like, in that building. Or just outside of it. Like, that's the view from my place. Or, or they think I live in the Mario Brothers apartment from the Super Show. And, like, there's cartoon legs, like, in the window, just walking. I stay at the stars. Um, okay, the so there you go, there's Metal Gear Solid 2. Is... Wait, what's this? Is this part of the game? Is this a crash? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. This is certainly not part of the game. God damn it. What a time for the game to crash. I thought this was like a sanity effect. I thought this was a genius Kajumbo Patriots moment. How does this happen? How? The whole fucking game worked. I'm gonna take the disc out and put the disc back in. Colonel, I haven't managed to avoid corrupting. Okay. Well, uh, it reset. Time to go to YouTube. Time to go to YouTube. God, what a fucking mess. Alright, well... At least let me show you this. At least let me show you this. Hang on a sec. Where the fuck is it? Um, I had a clip for you. Oh man, I don't think I have it. Hang on a second. There is an alternate clip. I'm gonna get the the rest of the ending. There's a little bit more. That's really disappointing that it crashed. And it, it's in a, like a testament to the game that I thought it was part of the fucking game. But it, it is not. I guess I'll never get a rank. Uh, I'd have to beat Solidus again. You'll never see my rank. I'm sorry, I can't I can't beat Solidus again and you know wait through all the cutscenes and everything. That's just gonna be terrible. What a what a fucking horrible moment that was. MGS two ending. There was... There's the cutscene, there's the credits, and then there's another... Here now, while this is happening, I want to look for a clip. So... There's an alternate scene that I would I really, really like to show you. Say goodbye to yesterday, my friend. I keep holding on till the end. Out of the darkness, there is no other way. Um, here it is. It's there. 
peace, not war, and dreams that I let slip. I'm gonna show you this now. Oh, sorry. While uh, while the ending is happening, just so I can show you. So this is an alternate scene that is rarely rarely seen. Um, it was cut, but take a look. I know the video quality oh, is terrible. I really? No one quite knows who or what they are. Raiden, disregard what I just told you. The most important thing for you to do now is enjoy a mouth-watering Egg McMuffin sandwich from the new all-day breakfast menu at McDonald's. All of your favorite McDonald's breakfast items now available all day at participating McDonald's restaurants. And Raiden, always remember, I'm loving it. So... Yeah, they cut that. They cut a couple scenes from the end. That was one of them. Weird, right? So, um, yeah. So there's a lot of lot of stuff uh, you could do research about with this game. Um, there's also this I can show you. This was sent in by Streamwatcher, which is a glitch where you can play red light, green light with Snake. If you trank him, drag him out. And then this happens. <laughs> Just stops dead in his tracks. I wonder if he's part of the AI. if I played it through the game again. And again, I'm not doing that tonight, if ever. Like, just to get my rank. But I'm wondering if it would crash in the same place. I have a feeling it would. Shame, that is. Also, oh, fuck. I didn't mean to do that, but, oh, well, there it is. I meant to drag that into XSplit, sorry. But that that's the um the scene of Arsenal crashing into Lower Manhattan. They um yeah, they got rid of it. Does your disc have a scratch in it? It might. The reason um, that happened might be because this is a used copy of the game. So, I don't know. But, yeah, there's a lot of themes in this game that are probably almost more important than the actual events, considering they're so fucking scattershot, and... The Patriots are, like, just so we I don't remember a lot of Metal Gear Solid 4's fan y explanations for everything. But I do... I still am very confused about the Patriots. Is it... You know... The residue from the White House that turned into an AI? You know, I know who formed the Patriots, supposedly. If you play, um, play the game, the Metal Gear Solid 3 thing, you know, all that. But it's just, they tell you so many different things. I guess it's a metaphor. I guess it's a lie. I guess, don't worry about the truth. Just make up your own goddamn mind. But this, this game's themes are, well, memes, passing on your information. It's about, you know, information control, the truth versus fiction. And it's about, um, you know, it's about making your own story out of all this, I guess. It's a lot. And, and there's a lot of video essays you could watch online. And I'm sure you would get a lot more out of it than me discussing it, but I'm going to spend some time talking about that. Life isn't just about passing on your genes. It's not. We can leave behind much more than just DNA. Through speech, music, literature, and movies. I like what music. We've seen, heard, felt, anger, joy, and sorrow. These are the things I will pass on. 
That's what I live for. We need to pass the torch and let our children read our messy and sad history by its light. Wow. We have all the magic of the digital age to do that with. The human race will probably come to an end sometime, and new species may rule over this planet. Earth may not be forever, but we still have the responsibility to leave what traces of life we can. Building the future and keeping the past alive are one and the same thing. This game came out in 2001, and a lot of what Kojima was writing about in terms of like social media, without saying it was social media and the importance of the digital age. Snake, you there? Gotta give him credit it's for that me. shit. I've finished going over that disc. Did as you incongruous Adrian's as it list? was. Of course. It contains the personal data of 12 people. There was a name on it. Snake, it was one of our biggest contributors. What's going on around here? I don't know. Anyway, where are they? Well, we were right about them being on Manhattan, but... But what? They're already dead. All twelve of them. When did it happen? Well, uh, about a hundred years ago. What the hell? So, yeah, it's uh, so who's pulling the strings? I don't I don't really know. Uh spoiler for Metal Gear Solid 4 if anyone wants to know, which by the way, I have the whole series now. This completes the circle. Metal Gear Solid has been streamed in its entirety from me. You can watch Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and even most of Peace Walker. But um I don't I'm not a scholar, let's just say on Metal Gear lore. I forget a lot of it. I love the series, but there's there's too much to know. There's too much to remember. But I will give you a quick spoiler for Metal Gear Solid 4. What about the MSX games? No, I haven't streamed those. I just said solid. Uh, not those. So not the first two that came out ever. So sorry about that. Not really interested. But I'll say this, though. Um... I'd prefer to look at this game as, for me, this is like a turning point in the series, and a lot of the weird, wacky, crazy shit I didn't really get when I was younger. In fact, this is the game that put me off the series a bit. I loved Metal Gear Solid. I played the fuck out of it multiple times. This one, I only played once, and it was fun. I, I really enjoyed the gameplay, but I just didn't know how to feel when it was done. It was just so... It was too confusing. Um, when I finally... And I wanted to get three, and I remember trying to get three a couple times, but then it, they just never had it, like a couple years after it came out. So I gave up. But for me, the series got... Um, you know, it, it started relatively simple and straightforward you know, aside from the espionage and plot twists and everything and, the, you know, discussion of genes. This game got too metaphysical. It got it got too metaphorical. And my 16-year-old 2001 Bab brain was just not... It wasn't good enough. I still don't know if it's good enough. Maybe the writing is shit. Maybe it's so good that I just don't understand it. I'm thinking it's better than shit. And I think that there's some th some things I don't understand and I I think maybe Kojima stuck the landing on a couple things but maybe not a, you know, not some other things. That's that's my 2018 brain. That's 33-year-old trying to figure this shit out. I per I love the game. I liked it better now than I did when I was 16. It's a lot of fun, but it's also it's a good movie. It's a really good movie. Every voice actor did a good job. I think um, the script was well written for whatever the fuck was going on. But there's a couple things in there, like that whole kernel thing 
I, my like my mind started blanking through some of it. So I'm sure that there are many, many people that can be like, but Vinny, I can tell you everything. And I know, I know everything. It made perfect sense to me. And I'm sure that's the case, but there's a lot of stuff that in the, the couple of video essays I did watch, there's a lot of stuff that people don't agree on. There's a lot of stuff that is left open to interpretation, like fortune having powers after not having powers. And I guess ultimately you have messages of, of getting rid of the useless information and then the data and, and the, the fucking social media. You have the, the like lying throughout the whole game. Everyone fucking lies to Raiden. People lie to each other. People lie to themselves. And then you have at the end Solid Snake talking about passing on your genes and everything, but not just genes, passing on your memes, which, all jokes aside, that's probably more what I'm about. I like to pass on. <laughs> I like to pass. I like to make music. That's like the thing I want to leave behind, you know, personally. So I like that. I really do like a lot of what was going on here. Uh, people consider Kojima a fucking like wizard a time traveling genius i'll be honest i don't consider him a time traveling wizard i think he's he's really he, he had a really good prediction and i think his writing is very interesting and i love some of his storylines and characters i think this game overshot a little bit and it de it did damage the series a bit because this game was like highly, highly, highly anticipated, and then sales dropped off, and then I guess people became less interested in the series from three on for a little while. So it was, you know, I don't know if it's his fault, I don't know if it's gamers' faults, I don't know what happened there, but I like it. I really like it. Vinny, did you know that MGS2 is the best-selling Metal Gear game up to Phantom Pain? I didn't know that. Vinny, history repeats. He just contextualized it in modern times. Um, any other interesting things you want to let me in on or, or talk about real quick before I go to the, my next um, games? And again, thank you so much for watching this. I loved streaming this game and Metal Gear Solid 1. This was fantastic. I'm really upset we didn't get to see my rank, but I'll deal with it. Vinny, I might have missed it, but can you get Pete on the, in this game? Yes. Um, conversations with Rose were based on Kojima's own experiences with his with relationships. Well, the Rose thing is weird because I think some of the Rose is meant to some of the Rose stuff is meant to be AI, because there's even one scene like I'm pregnant, like where Rose just shuts down, and then at the end, Rose seems more human. But maybe that's the point. Maybe I don't remember what happened with Metal Gear Solid 4 Rose. But I don't know. Pretty sure that's the AI cutting her connection. Um Okay, people say that MGS4 ruins MGS2's ending because Snake's monologue basically saying, don't get so hung up over cliffhangers. What do you think? I understand why people don't like Metal Gear Solid 4 based on Kojima was clearly not firing all, on all cylinders. It's a game he has said himself he didn't want to make. A lot of what he explained in Metal Gear Solid 4 wasn't satisfactory for a lot of people. And the mystery of some of the things like the Patriots and you know some of the other backstory related things I guess for it didn't land didn't it wasn't what people wanted so I think the idea that Kojima made the game to explain everything and to tie up the loose ends just even the attempt no matter how good it would have been I think would have upset people um, I know that Metal Gear Solid 2 is also a commentary on what sequels are. The S3 thing, the snake going through 
what is a recreation of Shadow Moses. It follows similar story beats, which is Kojima's way of like a little bit of, in my opinion, it's like a little rebellion. Like, okay, I have to make another blockbuster game. It has to sell. We have to make the trailers amazing. But I'm going to replace the character at the last minute. No one's going to know. And the story beats are intentionally going to be similar to Metal Gear Solid 1, but then explained as this is what, you know, this is what you do because this is how you become a killing machine. And then you have the whole commentary on like video gamers with the simulation stuff, the VR stuff. So there's a lot going on that Kojima, I think, tried to throw in there while he was making the game and and it's it's in there in various conversations you can you can extrapolate you know a, fil- a million things a thousand things from one line i'm sure and again the video essays on this game do it i like the ambiguity the ambiguity of the game i like the mystery i like that it's weird but i didn't really get it when i was younger i i like it more now but i understand why this is one of the games that you know people were upset about because it's like well what are you talking about man so then metal gear solid 3 comes along and it's just james bond fucking action movie just pure schlock on purpose and it's beautiful it's fucking great and that is i think again kojima knowing he had to do something he had to give the people what they wanted but he had to do it in a way that he wanted to do it, which was go back and homage all these things that he grew up with. So, and then Metal Gear Solid 4 is just, yeah, tying up everything. And I don't remember a lot of the big story beats for Metal Gear Solid 4, but one day, one day. All right. So, anyway, thank you for watching Metal Gear Solid and the entire series of Metal Gear Solid. Um, I really appreciate it. It's been a journey and I enjoyed a ton of it. I'm not doing the skateboarding or anything, but maybe one day, I don't know, maybe one day I'll come back to the series. So here's what we're going to do now. I'm not taking a break. Instead, I will show you spider things so let me load this up and you'll see you'll see what's going on in just a second